in honor of our 40th season, it is time for another Lawmakers Flashback. Tonight, <laughs> Senator Nathan Dean faces repercussions over the position he took on a sales tax increase in opposition to Lieutenant Governor Zell Miller. <laughs> Senator Nathan Dean of Rock Mart in Northwest Georgia was removed as chairman of the Senate Rules Committee by Lieutenant Governor Zell Miller. It was only the second year that Dean had held that position. My only concern is that the people in my area feel comfortable with whatever actions have been taken. And in August of this year, I will give them once again the opportunity to see whether today is an elevation or a promotion in the district the 31st of the state of Georgia. Senator Roy Barnes, Governor Joe Frank Harris's floor leader, said Senator Dean's removal was almost unheard of. Reasons given in the letter were that uh, Senator Dean could not be the governor's floor leader and the chairman of the committee. Divided loyalties, I guess, uh, is the argument made by the lieutenant governor. Is this an unprecedented action? I can never remember where a, a chairman of a committee was removed in midterm. Uh, either in the House or the Senate. Uh, maybe somebody will bring, uh, find something and bring it to me, but I can never remember it happening. I'm very sorry for Senator Dean. He is a fine senator, uh, and I'm very disappointed. Disappointed in whom? I'm disappointed in the Lieutenant Governor. Nathan Dean served in the Senate until 2004. Senator Barnes, of course, went on to become the 80th Governor of Georgia. This has been a Lawmaker's Flashback.